Hey, this is Jason with Everyday Apple, and I recently got a new MacBook Pro. Pretty excited about it, but it's been like six or seven years since I got a new computer, so I thought, man, what settings do I like to change and make sure I check when I start, you know, get a new Mac? So this one is entirely focused on settings and so just setting up your Mac. So let's take a look. <laughs> Okay, this first one is Find My Mac. Now, this was probably already turned on for you as you walked through the process of setting up your new Mac. But just in case, um, go into System Preferences. And by the way, if you want to find something in System Preferences, just type instead of finding the actual icon, uh, if you can't remember, just type in what you're looking for. It's much easier if you're not sure instead of clicking through a bunch of different preference panes. So go into iCloud and you'll see Find My Mac, and this should be turned on here. Now, there's just a couple options here, but this is pretty important. Um, if you lose your Mac, you should be turned on on all your devices so you can keep track of where they are. And this links it up with your um, iCloud account, so definitely make sure that's on. All right, next is a preference that I have used for years, but they moved it on us, and that is being able to drag a window around using three fingers on a trackpad. So if you are using a trackpad, uh, you really should try this out. Now, I would think it'd be under trackpad, but it is not. Um, it's actually under accessibility. And so you go into accessibility and you choose pointer control and trackpad options. And here you can enable dragging with, and there's a couple options here. So three finger drag. So basically I just, can grab a window just by putting three fingers down on the trackpad and then moving all three fingers around. I find that incredibly useful when using a trackpad. Highly recommend you at least try it. And while we're talking about gestures and trackpads and so on, go into the trackpad system preferences and learn the gestures that exist. You have a lot of options. Um, learn all those. It's going to make you a lot more efficient on your Mac. All right, the next thing to check real quick is um, I think it's really useful and convenient to have a an icon of my the top level hard drive. By default, that's not necessarily there. And so if you go up to Finder and choose Preferences, and it will say, okay, what do, what do you want to show on the desktop? And you can see that it disappears. You know, um, I, I don't think that shows by default. And um, when I set up this new Mac, I turned that on. Um, it's just really convenient. There are times when I just want to go there to see a folder instead of maybe command N, which is to bring up a new window as well. So um, turn that on and also any external disks. So I've got an external disk plugged in here and I like to see that on my desktop. It's really convenient. So check that to be sure that if you want to see that there, you've got it. You've also got other things you can look at for find your preferences that I encourage you to look through. What do you want to show up on Finder windows? You know, so when you open up a Finder window, what do you want over here? Well, it's in the Finder preferences. So be sure and check that out as well. Number four is to show the battery percentage in the menu bar. Um, check that setting. So by default, it just shows you the icon, which isn't super helpful. Um, I like to show the percentage. I don't know that that icon means 35% or what, I just like to see the actual percentage number there, and you can turn that on right there on the menu bar itself. Number five is hot corners. And I mentioned this in a previous video I did a year or two ago, um, but this is just one that, I mean, to me it's just so convenient, why not have these set up? And so uh, let's just go right to it. Hot corners. So under desktop and screensavers, and you can just go in and set these up the way you want them. So in the upper right, if I would just want to show the desktop, I can take my mouse and it'll just go up to the upper right and it clears everything aside and just shows me my desktop. And mission control in the bottom right, so I can see that. Um, start the screensaver up in the upper left. So be sure and set these up the way you want it. And there are a lot of options. Actually, I don't use Launchpad really ever, so I probably should change this one, but a lot of uh, options you can set there. You can have it do nothing. So set up hot corners as another way to be more efficient on your Mac. Number six is changing the way folders look in Finder. 
And uh, so you've got some options here and you want to make it consistent so that this opens up the way you want it to every time. Um, if you just take the default and you say, I don't like the way it displays files, well, you have options here. Uh, so of course, right here is where you change that. Um, some people really like the column settings. Uh, I like the list view myself. That's how I, I prefer to, uh, to show my finder windows. So if you want to show that by default, just go up to the view menu and show view options. And you're going to set this uh, so that um, it's a default right here. Okay. You can say always open in a list view. You want to browse in a list view and everything. So if I wanted to change that, let's say I go to this window, I say, okay, no, I want to start using icon view. Well, I can have that checked and you know, I want to show item info as well maybe, and you can set that as the default. Whatever, I, I really prefer the list view. So you can go in and say, yeah, I want this to always show it just like this. All right, next is night shift. So, you know, there's some studies out there that say, hey, you know, if you're staring into a computer screen and it's just that kind of blue bright light in your face deep into the night, you know, that's gonna probably contribute to not getting great sleep. Um, and so you have night shift options here under displays. Okay, so let's go there. So when you get into this, it's gonna be automatically off. And so what you want to say is, all right, I want to set a schedule and you can just do sunset to sunrise. Um, I like mine to turn on actually at nine o'clock and then just by 6 a.m. It's not, it's not that way. So basically you can say, okay, here's the color temperature I want it to be. And it'll, you know, be a more warm uh, color temperature the further over you go to the right or less. And I usually keep it about a little to the left of center on there. And so that way it's not quite as much of a bluish light in my face late into the night. So I just have that scheduled. It just happens automatically and comes on. All right, next is changing some of your Siri settings on the Mac. Now, when Siri came to the Mac, I thought, wow, how cool. I just find that I don't use it very much at all on the Mac. So if you use it, great, you know, but here's where you go. So type in Siri, you can click on the icon as well and you can turn off. So this is what it looks like by default. Okay. It's it's listening for you to say the key phrase there. If I say it now, hey, Siri, it's going to respond all over the place. You know, all my devices are like, what do you want? Um, so I'm going to turn that off on the Mac here. Okay. And there's another option as well here under accessibility where you can turn on type to Siri. Okay. If you would like to type your Siri requests rather than speaking them. And um, you can do that here. That's a kind of a neat option there if you want to turn that on. Uh, occasionally, I find that useful. I don't use Siri a ton on my Mac, but I want you to know that it's there. Uh, next, next is turning off auto brightness. Um, personally, I don't like the auto brightness feature. I prefer to control it myself. And so um, just take a look at, at that on your displays preference pane and um, you can turn this on or off. Usually it's, I meant to have it as default there. It's by default, it's on and you can turn it off, okay? Uh, True tone is also something you want to look at and say, okay, do I want to adapt the display to make colors appear consistent in these different lighting conditions? Uh, I tend to want that off as well. I don't want the monitor to change. Um, I'd rather control it myself. And then finally, i am left this one for last because again, this is one that it's already there when you set up your Mac and it asks you right away. But in case you missed it, go to general preference pane and you can choose dark mode or light mode or auto. So that at a certain time, it's gonna you know switch over. And during the day you have light mode. I prefer dark mode all the time, but there's that setting in case you were looking for it. All right, I hope that helped. If you like this video, click that like button down below. If you wanna see more where this came from, Please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.